Welcome our fellow wanderers. This week we thought we'd show you how this beautiful herd became part of the sanctuary. We approached a good friend, Isak Meyer of Alpha Transport, who not only sourced but transported the herd for us. Darting the animals is always traumatic for all concerned. There's a wide variety of conditions to keep in mind to ensure the safety of both wildlife and the humans involved with the operation. The best spot to aim for was a well-muscled area. Once started, one must work swiftly, loading and the procedure, in this case, a pregnancy diagnosis. A dart can be inaccurate as it's prone to losing its trajectory from the tiniest of environmental changes in temperature, humidity and wind. The darting of the bull was far more stressful because of the other males around. As you can see, even once our bull was down, the others were trying to fight and the guys had to run interference to protect him. Once the bull is sedated, measurements of the horns need to be taken in order to keep a record. This guy was recorded at 46.5 inches. The sable bull reaches a weight of 235 kgs and is difficult to manoeuvre due to his horns, as you can see. All this needs to be done swiftly, so he is not under for too long. In these types of operations, the language used is choice, as the stress levels of the humans are far higher than that of the animal. From the back of the truck, the bull then has to be physically lifted and manhandled into the transport trailer. Time is of the essence and the stress of the handlers is palpable. You can feel the urgency now as they try to get the bull into a position so that he won't hurt himself when he rises. Once loaded onto the trailer, he is given the reversal and although sleepy, he will travel standing up. The trailer is kept dark in order to minimize the stress on the animal. Arriving at the sanctuary, the bull is anxious to get out of the confines of the trailer. He is still unstable as his feet at the ground. He stops, as if to orientate himself. He is a proud animal, and his movements take your breath away. After strutting his stuff for a while, he eventually spots the harem of cows that have been gifted to him, and he slowly moves to greet them, letting them get his scent. Once they had all settled and had adjusted to their new environment, they were released onto the relative freedom and natural habitat of the sanctuary. A new male was brought in next door. So much fence fighting. Our majestic bull became so focused on getting rid of the other bull. Sable bulls can be very territorial, and the challenging interloper is in for a serious encounter if he does not retreat. Our beauty lost this battle. We decided that a new bull should be brought in. Good fortune was with us and we were shown a bull just down the road. He is young, but his beauty is emerging. He will in a while boast the gleaming black coat of his sire. The male's coat starts turning black after they turn three years old. Loading with this bull was relatively easy. Rolling him onto the canvas and lifting him onto the back of the truck. No transport trailer this time. This move was stress-free and we had him home in the Boma, where his sedation was reversed with no struggles. Measurements were taken at 30 inches, a nice size for his age, along with a great lineage. He is the same age as our females. If he was in a social herd with a resident male, he wouldn't stand a chance. But yeah, as the only bull, he will take over as protector. The vet then darted one of our cows to be transported back to the neighbouring farm, as this was an exchange deal to bring in new bloodlines. Again, a stress-free movement, as she was loaded onto the vehicle and ushered away to a new home. From the bull being darted and the female being on her way, it took around 45 minutes. Watching the bull revive whilst in the Burma, we brought the cows to the entrance in order for the introduction. We weren't expecting any trouble, as the cows had been showing signs of fleming, due to there having been no male. I 
think the timing of bringing a new bull in was perfect. Once released, he left the Burma and showed remarkable reserve as he didn't run wildly as most animals do. He, instead, casually strolled over to the herd. The matriarch, however, showed her dominance. She walked around, smelled and inspected him. She did this before allowing any of her little herd near him. The herd of cows then surrounded him, in essence welcoming him as their new leader. After about half an hour, his dominance came to the fore as he rounded them up. All in all, this was a successful operation and we are extremely happy with the dynamics. We hope that you have enjoyed this adventure with us part of the behind the scenes of a working sanctuary. Over and out, the bush wanderers. If you like our stories, please leave us a comment, subscribe and ring that bell if you'd like to be kept updated.